let's continue on from where we left off in the previous lesson. So let's open that up. It's in templates, main heading. All of our templates and our web pages, for that matter, will have this kind of heading. Now we're going to play more with that navigational system later, but this is where we want to start. Now the first thing is the simple fact that I want to leave this one alone. I want to make one or two more templates. I've got an idea for two templates that we're going to need straight up, and we might, as time goes on, make more. So what we're going to do is this. Let's go ahead and go up to the Word file and say Save As. Now, it will ask me about the template doesn't have editable regions. The reason I leave these up, because you have a don't warn me again, I know it's going to ask that question. But if I turn all the stuff off and you don't see it while we're teaching and it comes up for you, you might wonder why I didn't see it. So I leave this stuff on just for that purpose. It gets annoying after a while, though. Click OK. Yes, I know. Now, we're going to call this one Main Body. Okay, something like that. It is a template. It will be in the Templates folder. And that's exactly where it's putting it. Click Save. Now, we don't need main heading anymore. They're the same thing. And, of course, if we try to close it, it's going to warn us again. And I'm just going to click OK, click through that. You'll probably want to turn those warnings off once you get comfortable with them. OK, what are we going to do here? Well, here we're going to create a generic template that has a generic area for body stuff, content, that we can kind of conform to just about anything we want. That'll be our first one. So let's go into Split View. Now, in Split View, I just like working here. The main thing that we're going to do, basically, is we're going to add another section. And to me, the easiest way to get here, because there still are some holes in the implementation of HTML5, and eventually you might get to a point where you can't just come up here and click the buttons. It's just so much easier this way. I want another section, and that section needs to follow the closing tag of the previous section. So we have this section in here. I want it after this, but I want it before the close div. I want everything inside that div. So I'm going to click to the right, press the return key on a Mac, enter key on Windows, same key, different name. And now we'll go up here to structure. I'm going to go in and I'm going to do another section. And we're going to call this one content section. Let me come down here to ID, content section, click OK. And there it is. Now, we don't need any text in there, so I'm going to delete the text. And you can refresh it back over here. Again, it looks like there's nothing there. That's why I like working over here, too. We know it's there. We can see it. Now I want the next piece right inside there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down, give myself one blank line, and I hit the character return key twice. And so I'm going to put in here basically a heading area. Come right up here. We'll call this one, well, content heading, I suppose. Just like that. Now, we'll leave that text in there, mainly because, well, we're going to want to put text in there. It's a heading. So we might as well leave that in so we can see what's happening. I want one more area underneath header, but inside section. So I'm developing, in a sense, another section here. And this would be for just one big area for whatever we want to put in there, like an article. So we come over here and do article. ID. See, remember, it's always saying insertion point, and we know where the insertion point is. It's just an easier way to get there. And this one we'll call content article. Okay. Click OK up here. Now, in the case of content ID, content article goes here. Since we need something there to get started, kind of like a foothold, we can leave that text there too. And then we can delete that text once we add something in there. Now, I think I want to do one more thing come down and scroll a little bit further down after this section. Go ahead and press the return key. I need a footer. I mean, our pages are going to need footers, so why not do it now? So we have the insertion point where we want it right here, and go to footer right here, and we'll call this content footer. Let me tab down to ID, and click OK. So we have an area up here, an area here, and one more area here. Now let's go back to design for a minute. And like I said, we don't know what's going to go in here. I mean, that'd be a headline for something, and it's not going to be on the template. It's going to be when we use it as a page. And this area here will probably have, oh, it could have graphics, all kinds of things, but we don't know that yet. And that's just a place for us to get a foothold in that area when we build. This area, though, would be, well, it'd be a footer. So I might actually go in here and do something like, well, how about put a footer in there? Now, we could type in copyright 2013, blah, 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 if you want to, but don't forget, 
In the previous chapter, when we looked at snippets, we made a snippet that was text that was like a footer. So if you don't see snippets over here, which I don't, I'm going to go to the word window on the pull down menu and go down to snippets. Now, in the text area, I believe that's where we put it generic copyright. And if I select it here, let me do this too. Let me move over and let's get rid of the text we have. You could do that later. Might as well do it now. And then don't move your mouse because you can't see it anymore. Click insert. And there's that. Now, once we get that established, we'll work about text and formatting the text later. But once we get it established in there, then it would always be there. Now, here's the other thing. That area is outside of our section, isn't it? So it's part of the div as a whole. Let me come back over here. So here is what we have so far. Here's our div here. That yellow text is actually that library item, and it goes down to there. Inside there is this section that goes from here to here and includes our headings and navigation. And inside this section right here, it includes a content heading and an article area. And then outside that section, coming back out is a footer, and then we close the div off. So we're kind of nesting things in, but don't forget one thing. Everything gets inherited from what's above it. And the one thing we did on the div, actually two things, is we made the size in terms of width 932, and we used the center div to center that div, so everything's going to be 932, and everything's going to be centered, unless we change those options. Let's go ahead and save this. And then it tells us this again. Now, this is the reason I did leave it up. And it's reminding me everything is uneditable. So in this case, I'm glad it was there. So let's go ahead and click Cancel. Now, I'm going to move snippets because I use them a lot. I'm going to move them up here. I would suggest a good kind of like workflow here or working system you have is files, assets, snippets, and then, of course, your designer and transitions down here. We haven't gotten into transitions, but we will. Let's go back to design. Now, the area I want to make editable is the section that has this stuff in it. I want to be able to go into here and go into here, and I don't have to do one at a time. If I select that area, and then down here it does say section, content section. That's what I want. I'm going to go up here and go into templates on the insert menu, and then this button right here is editable region. We could call it, how about main content? Click OK. So now, when we use that area, this won't be showing when we actually display the site. When we get into this and start working with it as an HTML page, we will be able to get into those areas and work. So we've got this one done. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Go ahead and save it. See, this time it won't ask us that question because there are some editable areas. Tell you what, let's close this lesson out and save the next template. It's a little bit more complicated for the next lesson.